And there we go, everyone. We have our entrepreneurship class just uh, leaving. Yeah. Your pet pods aren't too bad. I was hoping to have my uh, headphones, but I kind of got uh, caught out in the uptown here, so this is the best I can do. So hopefully the uh, volume's okay, and there isn't uh, too much of a tinny background. So uh, if all's good, I'm going to proceed, and uh, don't be afraid to ask any questions during the time. Uh, Mark Bates is also done. He'll help. Uh, Get a setup. I can switch in between. Uh, going on the link uh, dialogue and the uh, smart uh, presentation. Anyways, uh, if you're wondering if you have Smart Notebook 11 or Smart Notebook uh, 10, all you'd have to do is look at your desktop and you'd see it uh, as such the Smart Notebook 11 or 10. If you uh, have 10, all you'd have to do is go into the uh, Smart Notebook and go into help and I'm not sure if it will let me uh, do it here but in help there is an automatic update option and it's not letting me do it but take my word for it that if you want the upgrade all you have to do is select upgrade and if you have local admin control you can do the upgrade yourself so with the uh, the uh, Notebook 11, the newest feature, of course, is the uh, enhanced ribbon, is, is what I'll call it. Uh, and from the ribbon itself, it, you're allowed to do all kinds of customizing as well. And the way to customize is to select the uh, gear in the top right-hand corner, and you have the uh, customized toolbar option. And all you would do from here is just go through and uh, select what you want and pull it up to the uh, toolbar. And some of the uh, newer uh, features of the uh, Smart Notebook 11 is an enhanced uh, video do uh, smart video player. And you can have videos saved on your computer and have them embedded in your smart lesson plans. And I have that on my ribbon already. Uh, smart recorder, which reminds me I was going to record this session here. See if I can do that right now. Uh, hold on. Would Kelsey Morse please talk about it? start recording. So right now, as you can see, I'm beginning the recording sequence. So I'm recording the uh, presentation here, even though Mark Bates is recording it in Link as well. But uh, if any of you ever wanted to uh, record a lesson after school and provide that to your supplier the next day, that is a uh, fantastic feature that uh, you could do. Okay, so uh, click done when you're done there. And what I did for my basic math uh, smart controls, I just added the, added the measuring tools in the upper toolbar. And if you are a high school math teacher, you'll, you should be able to get the uh, math buttons as well. And those are shown right in this area here. Uh, so I'm just going to proceed. I'll just check questions quickly. Okay, is 11 working well? Yes, 11 is working well. All right, perfect. I'm going to uh, jump ahead a page here and look at something new that uh, they have in the ribbon, and that is an instant browser. So you can have a browser embedded in your actual uh, lesson, and you can have it... Uh, Google as your browser or write to a website as well and you'll have that embedded in your actual lesson. Now I always put in cbc.ca because that's the easiest uh, URL to put in. So there's our uh, neighbor Obama. So that is a new feature. You can go instead of having to get out of the uh, toolbar into a different browser, you can be having the uh, browser directly in your lesson as you can see here. Page. Another new feature as well is looking at the shape recognition. Now, any of the, if you look in the upper ribbon, any of the uh, buttons you, you hit, uh, there are more, many more options that are available, not at the drop down, but directly in the actual uh, ribbon. So if I just pull down, let's see, a uh, rectangle here, I can have it customized as such, and I can then get the color of it going as well. 
cover that up and do, do the line style as well with the same colors so and there's the transparency you can also adjust when you select them and my default is always going to the pointing you can adjust that for different lessons as well transparency feature in terms of line sequencing variety of lines there as well arrow broken etc there's also the shape recognition tool so those of us that are on the smart board just doing something really fast the smart board is programmed to assist with your perfect circles there it is ovals backfill as well etc uh, there's also text you could add in there it's for usual insects we'll put here and mammals so I'm going to tie this into the puzzle maker activity insects mammals and let's say reptiles so the puzzle making tool is right here activity builder and this is where it's kind of cool I've uh, used this uh, showing elementary teachers but I'll just do the same thing this can be used with uh, doing the multiples and factors as well even numbers odd numbers so if I want to select an object here oh there we go hold on so it's too many layers here. I can try a new page here. Oh, there we go. Puzzle maker. So if I go into picture and type in uh, insects, I'm just going to pull up the pictures here of insects ants, butterfly, and I'll do mammals as well, and all it is is students can go and classify and organize, and you set up a rule within these actual categories, and it either accepts or rejects them, and you can have an activity that, uh, or an action that relates to it being rejected. Okay, and we've, uh, let's do a snake as well. Okay, so when I go into the puzzle, I accept these objects here. So, insects, I'm going to have my butterfly accepted. I'm going to drag it there. Oh. the group and that's my mistake and you're sorry about that pointing tool I'm going to group this there we go sorry about that I'm rushing here okay so that's now grouped I can now uh, do my selection edits and this is where I select the actual insects and sorry about that so, oh, that was wrong so I'm going to take it out. There we go. Reject. So accept. Insect. There we go. Butterfly. Yes. Uh, ant. Yes. And the nose are going to be everyone else. And the armadillo. So done. Edits, mammals, we're going to have this except mammal here, mammal there, and reject everything else. Now I tried three categories, but it seems that it doesn't uh, accept that, which is fine. 
of course, trying different things. So down there, there's also action you can do. Set it all up as such. Okay, so let's try it out, see if it works. Insects. There it goes away. Alligator insects. No, it gets rejected. Butterfly mammal. And set that up properly. Insects. Yes. Reject. So that's the essence of the uh, puzzle maker there. It's kind of neat. Uh, so next up I'm going to look at is the uh, smart response very quickly. So this is a smart response button and if you have your uh, icon on the bottom, it's mine, Sentio's not there. So this button here is called the Sentio button and if you wanted to uh, get a question going, you can uh, do a title page or else just do a quick instant question. So you can insert a question automatically, yes or no, and like insert it in this page. And if you had the uh, smart Sentios where the kids had the clickers, they'd actually be able to uh, log into your class, which mine is 54, and you could have everyone uh, submitting their uh, data, their information for, uh, for a question. So I'd click start class, it would go and get all the information going. And uh, there it is on the bottom. So it's really uh, a, a lesson plan that allows you to get uh, students engaged and uh, working at uh, their own, own pace for, for questions, getting all those uh, answers in. Let's kind of look at the questions here, then any questions? Just moving along. Any questions? Okay, nothing yet. Okay, next up we have a variety of activities as well. And uh, I'm not sure how many people are aware of the multitude of activities. Uh, if you go into, let's say, English language arts, uh, interactive multimedia, there are all kinds of different these pictures there, and all you do is click and drag something over. Uh, the, the dice is, has a volume attached to it as well. So if you just click it, you have the A, E, I, O, U, the vowels. And it's going back the chart here. Something new for Smart Notebook 11 2 is going on the animals, and you can uh, go on sound, and you can customize the sound. So this has definite applications to having uh, a second language taught, so whether it be uh, French or Spanish or whatever else you may be uh, teaching in your school. Uh, but if you click uh, start recording, like this is, and uh, I start recording, uh, five seconds in, this is an alligator, stop recording, and if you want to have it connected to the objects, attach recording, so next time you click the animal, you have the icon there as such, there it is. So there it is, not the prettiest recording obviously, but you can imagine having uh, students on there uh, doing the uh, words in, uh, in, in French maybe. Uh, poetry, interactive multimedia, there's a few starters there for doing any kind of uh, poetry. Back. Uh, mathematics, there's a lot of interactive multimedia. And the, there's the periodic table as well, which is quite popular. Now, in terms of it being new compared to what was available last year, uh, it's very much the same. And what's nice about it is that uh, there's, there's a game here. We can have kids uh, uh, basically try to find the metals that are up as the uh, dialogue. Select elements, there it is, kids will be clicking that. And there's the game on there as well that, uh, let's see, there it is, we to test your knowledge, find the elements, and there it is, starts. So find potassium, potassium is K, I believe. I haven't looked at this in a long time, but anyways, there's the game, oh, made a mistake, made a mistake, and there it is. It's pretty cool stuff. 
Uh, what else is new? So we have the table, and similar to what was there last year, but I think what's different is you can select the individual uh, boxes here that allow you to customize whatever you want, uh, splitting adding shells, adding images in there as well. So it's quite interactive, and in terms of having the smart board and writing on the board, it would be quite handy, in my opinion. Uh, what else do we have? The uh, Magic Pen. So Magic Pen is a lot of fun. I'll just go back to a couple of screens here. So Magic Pen, if you go and circle an item, it goes and zooms right into wherever you have that, and you can then move the circle around. And that's a uh, popular one as well. So it's Magic Pen in the upper corner, pen types. Uh, another favorite is the uh, recognizable uh, writer. So pen, this is freehand here. We'll see how well it recognizes my hello. So if I select it, and there, there should be the recognition, recognize language, or hello, and there it is, it kind of standardizes it so everyone can see it, not have the uh, chicken scratch. Uh, the last thing I'm going to look at is uh, some of the math tools here. Now, there's the uh, compass, and this is easier on the uh, laptop than it is on the uh, smart board, so you have to kind of manipulate, hold one side while pulling the other. But it goes in actual uh, millimeters on top and uh, degrees. And you can move that around, change that around. Now, the protractor is one that uh, is pretty neat. If you were to uh, move this angle up to, let's say, 45 degree angle, 44, 45, click that. You can now pull that out and have 46 degrees. You can now pull that out and you have the uh, 46 degree angle. So I can see that being very handy in school. Uh, any questions? Let's see, table for me, 10 frames for primary math. Yeah, that's one to work, and that's a great question, Joanne. Counters, I uh, was looking at the interactive uh, options here. And uh, let's see, interact multimedia. Now there's a plethora of activities here, but most of them are oriented to the younger grades I've noticed. Now the uh, this table here was kind of interesting, the uh, brown tables, tiles, and you can, uh, these are fixed in place, and uh, what you can do is edit them as different colors, different text, and uh, they'll, they can turn around the actual pieces. And those are fixed in place, so in terms of counting, uh, getting objects in their queue to kind of line everything, getting some uh, more description going, it's an option to kind of look at that in that uh, context. But the chart is one that I would certainly uh, look at uh, to improve. I can't figure it out better right now. But in terms of counters, SMART is all about the ability to click an object and manipulate it from there. So the whole infinite cloner of just kind of doing this, throwing different uh, counters around if they look at this was a fixed image, and uh, locking them in place as well if you had to. So they should definitely be able to be uh, moved around uh, if they're not locked in place. Let me even look at that. Anyways, that's uh, the presentation here. Uh, any other questions? And Joanne, I'll definitely look back, look up the uh, ten frames, and get back to you. Get your name down.
Uh, yes, you make the puzzle, you have to have two groups. I just tried the triple today, just wondering if that would work out. So two groups, and then you just uh, select and you have to drop the images into the accepting box, or else the box that doesn't accept them. Now I can see applications with the odd numbers, even numbers, and you can just pull those out as well. Delete that. Uh, so if we go back to the puzzle maker, mammals, edits. So mammals, they're accepting these ones and they're rejecting these ones. And uh, settings, you can have them fade out, bounce back. Those are the activities that the actions they, they can do. This trend will please contact the office. This trend will please contact the office. A lot of action here is in Malachi's. <laughs> Okay, done. And uh, the insects, there we go. So you want to edit, and that's where the activity happens. So insects, accept those, reject those, and that's all it is. So you can have that as, you know, odd numbers, even numbers, and then just have all the numbers come out. Drop them in. Pictures, numbers. There's a one. There's a three. It's a four, it's a two, and with all these twos, going back to the sound as well, you can attach a sound, attach a link, saying one. So the possibility is really to be played with and, uh, and, and enjoyed. No fear about uh, uh, trying new things. Go. Oh. Oh, and there's a Mark Bates quick plug for Twitter. Our uh, good district, ASDS, is now live. So if you want to go, if you're on Twitter, you can check it out at the uh, link that uh, Mark Bates just uh, threw out there. We'll be following them soon, shortly. So Butterfly, let's try out activity. Done. Select okay, Butterfly, Insects goes away. Now if I want to reset, uh, I cl click reset and it goes back. Kind of goes back to where it uh, should go. Mammals gone. Armadillo gone. Ants rejected. Snake. Snake was left out. And to reset the activity, just click reset and it all goes back to normal. And you can move those how you want to. It kind of stays uh, where at the point where you left the page. Uh, absolutely, and what I have been looking at for having them stay in the circles for elementary teachers when they have students come to class, what they have is uh, all the kids' names on, let's say, snowflakes right now, and maybe a Christmas tree, and you have it so that little uh, John, even if he comes in an empty class, he gets a snowflake and he drops it into the Christmas tree, and the Christmas tree uh, then has it is set as a puzzle maker to accept it, and so when the teacher is all set to start uh, begin class, she, all she or he has to do is look at the smart board and see who hasn't uh, put their snowflake in. But of course, maybe someone else has forgot to. But, uh, anyways, that's all uh, your control. So do check out Twitter. Uh, the district has moved with that. And any other questions, please uh, contact me. Uh, Joanne Gang, I, I'll certainly look at the, uh, your question here. I'll just copy that and, and get back to you. So thank you, everyone, for showing up. And uh, next week, uh, we have uh, Mark doing, uh, oh, I forget what he's doing, but uh, certainly check in again next uh, Wednesday when we put out the uh, meeting. Thanks, everyone. Oh, Mark Bates is doing Outlook. Thanks, Mark. So that's probably the... Uh, You'll let you know Outlook app, or maybe what uh, most of us are on, and that is the uh, Outlook Express. <laughs> nice. All right, I'm off to, I think, the kids swimming. Take care, everyone.